This video tutorial shows you how to organize and filter information of all the announcements approved by the Deputy Superintendent Office. This is done through a SharePoint site that you can share with your relevant staff. The huge advantage to this format is you will be able to filter and organize documents by any parameter. Gone are the days of wasting countless amounts of time searching for a document in an email list. Now, you can find the important documents by sorting or checking a box to communicate the information that applies to the staff at the site. Why the new system? Announcements are archived forever. Announcements can be sorted and filtered. Links can be copied to match with the filter setup, as well as the sorting view that can be shared with staff. This results in no need to send attachments through email. It saves time without having to find specific emails like in the past. And lastly, one link can be shared with documents that apply to the audience being addressed. To start, you will receive an email link that will take you directly to the list of all the announcements serving as links to documents in the DS Weekly School Year 2018-19 Admin SharePoint site. These public documents are available to you with a click of a button. Let's observe how the announcements are organized. Later, you will see how you can share this information with your staff. By default, the list is displayed to view all levels with the most current date at the top of the list. Each heading is labeled from left to right as Department, Title, Category, Action, Audience, and Week Of. Notice that each heading has a drop-down arrow. When you click on the drop-down arrow, it expands different parameters to sort and filter information. Let's click on Department. Four options are available. You can sort the list alphabetically from A to Z or Z to A. You can filter for specific information by clicking on Filter By. This opens a pane to the right that gives you many parameters to choose from. To set the parameters, make sure you click Apply. Each box can be checked to filter information according to the department for this column. You can also click on Group by Department to have an alphabetical listing categorized by department. As you can see, it shows the number of items for each department and you can click on the arrow to expand or collapse the list. For the title heading, you only have the option to sort alphabetically in ascending or descending order. Click on the title of the announcement to view the document. It may be in a PDF or Word format. It will open in a separate tab in the browser. In the category heading, notice when you click on the Filter By parameter, it gives you different options to filter by category. This is super helpful when you are prioritizing information that you want to share with your staff. In the Action heading, the parameters are the same. Notice when I click on Filter By, it gives a set of different parameters to choose from with checkboxes. Click on the Funnel button with the X to clear all filters in the list. In the Audience column, you can specify an audience, so you can filter information related to your type of school. In the last column called Week Of, you can filter the announcements by a specific date. To do this, click on Filter By and then choose a date. Remember to click on Apply to set the filter. Now you only see announcements matching with that date. To hide the filter pane, click on the Funnel button. To make the filter pane show again, click on the Funnel button. It serves as a toggle button. The last thing I want to show you is how you can share this information with your staff. This is done by selecting the URL address in the browser and copying it by right-clicking and choosing Copy, or you can press Ctrl-C on the keyboard. Keep in mind, as you categorize and filter information, the URL address changes to reflect those changes. Remember to set the filters and categorize the information as you choose, and then copy the link. 
How you view the list is what your staff will see when viewing the announcements after you send the link. Paste the link into the email by right-clicking and choosing Paste or Control-V on the keyboard. There are no email attachments to keep track of anymore with this new system. The information will always be there when you need access to the weekly announcements. How great is that? To access the SharePoint site from your desktop, you can create a shortcut link. In Chrome, hold the left mouse button on the Secure button and drag it to the desktop. This will create a shortcut directly to the SharePoint site that contains the weekly announcements. Now you know how to consume the DS Weekly Announcements list in SharePoint with a variety of methods and share that information with your staff. I am Mark Scoff from the 21st Century Learning Department. Thank you for watching this in-depth tutorial.